Welcome to Mr. A Travels. This is my first YouTube video, so bear with me guys whilst I go through my journey across India with you. It started off solo and then later picked up with G Adventures. Stay tuned as I go through the India highlights including Taj Mahal, Forts to Desert in Rajasthan and lovely beaches in Goa. दिल से दिल मिल गया मैं शर्मा गए हम कहां खो गए हम कहां After leaving Gujarat via a quick stop over in Nosari to look at a few shops I would go on to Delhi India's bustling capital city where I would take in sights such as the Jama Masjid and stay overnight at the Taj Hotel devouring some of its best cuisine before joining my travel group which was arranged by G Adventures Over the course of 15 days I would be fortunate to visit some UNESCO World Heritage sites such as the Taj Mahal and Amber Fort along with seeing a good part of the country from Delhi to Goa and everything in between Here is a collection of some snaps and vids I took Hopefully I can return one day and give everyone a better video one that does travelling around India some justice I'll give my thoughts on group travel with Jeff Ventures towards the end of the vid Here we go, the Taj Mahal. Jaipur is home to India's second most visited site, the Hawa Mahal, or Palace of the Winds. After a walk through the pink city, we embarked on a guided tour of Amber Fort, another UNESCO World Heritage Site. Leaving
leaving Jaipur behind, they took a peaceful ride to Todi Sagar, taking in rural life by visiting local potters and cobblers, checking out how housewives were cooking their food, before eventually having a lovely trip to the Rajasthani desert. Sadly, it was time to leave Pushkar in Rajasthan and continue south to Udaipur. Udaipur, also known as the Venice of the East, is famous for its worldwide plethora of breathtaking lakes and large Arab palaces. <laughs> Udaipur is a fantastic place to buy arts and crafts and apart from its fantastic scenery uh, it's always it's also a great place to take in local culinary delights some fantastic cafes I done a cooking class as part of G Adventures whilst I was on the tour unfortunately my deli belly kicked in a bit late and I was knocked out for 24 hours after that so moving straight on to the footage of the overnight train to Mumbai arrived in Mumbai, tired and hungry. Stretched our legs uh, after an orientation walk of Kalaba and Fort District, after which uh, took a walk down the promenade. It was a free day, so I opted to go see the Gandhi Museum and check out the slums. Interesting fact, the slums houses one of the biggest laundrettes in the world. Mumbai was great, uh, managed to go to the Taj Hotel for a cup of tea as well, um, but now it was time to go to Goa. There's a short flight to North Goa and the rest of the time was just free time after that, so I just enjoyed the beaches and some of the UNESCO World Heritage sites. Overall, the India trip did not disappoint. I have barely scratched the surface with my footage with some of the amazing optional activities G-Adventures offered such as the Sunrise Bike Tour or the Hot Air Balloon Ride. Again, no footage, didn't take enough of it. India is a very, very busy place. I would definitely recommend a group tour if you're a solo traveller. It takes all the hassle out of your trip but still allows you to enjoy your adventure. This video does not do the journey justice but hopefully I will rectify that in the near future. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.